Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here he comes, Steve Rogers, pre-post steroid cycle. Not a lot of people are cheering for him, so he's only half into this match. He is Captain America, but in fact, we are in Kawasaki Stadium in Japan this week. Captain America walking down with all the enthusiasm that is Captain America. And since he is Captain America, he ate about 12 Big Macs before this match, so of course he is a little sluggish moving as he gets to the ring. He's having a hard time getting up them steps, it looks like. He has to really motivate himself. Of course, his libido's been in the toilet ever since Wonder Woman dumped him, but that's another story for another day. He's Captain America, but in fact, his shirt looks like the Cuban flag. I'm getting strange looks from my production team. Look up what the Cuban flag looks like and you'll get the joke. It's hard being the only educated one in the room who knows what the Cuban fucking flag looks like. Oh, look at this homosexual walking to the ring with a fur coat. Oh my god, the sound just got really loud. It's almost like the dying days of WCW where they had to turn up the crowd noise to make people see that they were interested. But in fact, nobody is interested in this match, nor is anybody interested in this wrestling company. The only reason that people are here in the building tonight is because they are homeless people that were promised five dollars and free food. Gentleman John Campbell entering the ring as only he can, very homosexually. And now the screen goes to black because we could only afford so much energy from the power company. And there's the bell on a jumping DDT, holy shit. Right on the top of his head with a side headlock, followed by another jump, no, the jobber clobber, right into his face, he smashed it up, he's gonna need plastic surgery after this. He's going right after the face, maybe he's gonna try and rip his mask off and we'll all figure out that Captain America is really Ronald Reagan underneath that mask. He's fighting for Reaganomics and America as he sends the Canadian bastard to the outside. Today's matchup is brought to you by Jim Brewer's Red Carpet Company, who donated their red carpet for our mats on the outside. No, no padding here, just the red carpet treatment here at SWF. And like I said, these fans couldn't be more disinterested in this match. They're only here for the free food and the five bucks because they're all homeless people. Apparently Japan has a lot of homeless. There's a girl fight on the floor and the... Uh, they're just throwing each other. Oh my god, what's going on? Please reconnect the controller. This is the most craziest thing I've ever seen. Captain America runs back in the ring. Gentleman John Campbell must be hung over. Breaks the count. Oh my god, what is this the craziest thing I've ever seen? My god. Somebody reconnect the damn controller! But these people have families! They're humanity! They, they, uh, uh, he's gonna stop anyway! The gentleman John Campbell's gonna take apart a table because he hates tables of every kind. He gets thrown into the guardrail again! Much like he did in the carnival back in 1996. They wouldn't let him on the tilt a whirl, so he hopped the guardrail, and then the carny threw him out. Happened just like this. He was wearing a Captain America mask and everything. Captain America. Holy balls! Right through the guardrail, ladies and gentlemen. This is the most craziest thing I've ever seen. And he gets back in. 
I haven't seen this much carnage since they dropped the atomic bomb! We are in Japan and that was a little bit tasteless. I apologize to you fine Japanese folks at home who are watching this on Samurai TV. Captain America standing over his prone opponent. Gentleman John Campbell may be dead. Is he dead? We're up to a count of... Five! We're up to a count of five! We're halfway home. I have it on good authority that gentleman John Campbell just didn't feel like working tonight, and he's just gonna take the count out loss. You get paid whether you win or lose here at the SWF. Maybe the people who are running it need to reconsider things. Nine, ladies and gentlemen! And... Uh, Holy shit, it's over! Captain America, or Cap, as the sign is telling me, wins by way of count out. You can see the replay of them rolling around on the floor there. Didn't actually show the move. They just were rolling all over the place. And then a replay of the 10 count, because let's face it, you can get tape, videotape for cheap these days, and you can replay anything that for pennies on the dollar. And Captain America's the big winner, as gentleman John Campbell holds his stomach on the outside of the floor like he ate a bad taco platter. Captain America still feeling the effects of those Big Macs from earlier is running mild in the middle of the ring to the accolades of all the homeless fans who have, are now, since they fulfilled their obligation, will get free soup and five dollars. As you can see, John Campbell there is still holding his stomach like he needs to go to the toilet.